Good evening, everybody. Dr. Dania Vula updates the public uh, Wednesday afternoon on the COVID-19 pandemic in Richmond. Our case count, uh, as of just a few hours ago, was 67 cases here in the city of Richmond, 105 cases in Henrico County. The Richmond and Henrico Health District Director says the area has seen several deaths related to the virus in the last few days, all from people older in age. At present, we have three individuals who are city residents who have passed away um, over the last couple of days to COVID-19. Avula says the number of cases will likely rise with more testing. This morning, we were a little bit over 1,400 cases. It would not surprise me if we were double that at this time next week, perhaps even more. Now, Avula says he's focusing his attention on nursing homes and what he calls cluster so, communities. Um, by tomorrow, we should have an additional 14 nurses and disease investigators to really help with that, uh, that significant surge of cases and follow up that, that we're seeing and that we need to keep up with. He also says um, the state and local hospitals are preparing for patient overflow that may come in the next couple of months. I know that both HCA and Bon Secours are actively looking for facilities, ideally facilities that are close to their existing footprint of hospitals. Avula stresses the importance of social distancing to end the pandemic faster. I mean, these are the strategies we've got to use if we're going to preserve capacity in our health system. Now, Dr. Vula says based off of estimated projections, Virginia could see its peak of the disease by late May into early June. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.